Welcome to our Common Craft presentation of the Community Coalition Action Theory by Butterfoss and Kegler, 2002. There are a number of stages in coalition development. Formation, institutionalization, and maintenance are all included. Uh, one must con consider community context, whether it's urban, rural context, and people who live in the community. A lead agency is best to emerge and to gather up valuable resources and to deliver education, deliver funding, and create partnerships. It's diverse membership in a coalition is key as well. Recruitment of many stakeholders in different organizations help diversify and strengthen the coalition. There are a number of coalition processes involved. Uh, committees engaging members in training throughout the process strengthen the coalition. With regard to leadership, Staff is trained, members create synergy when unified by a common goal. Structure is provided through different rules, bylaws, and strategies. Member engagement increases with encouragement and support. And pooled resources. Pooled resources help the coalition to be strong. Assessment and planning are key to successful implementation as well. For example, using the SPF to guide towards the goal. The implementation of strategies involves community change uh, and policies and environment can change for the better. Community change leads to increased coalition capacity, which in turn fuels more community change. The bottom line is improved health for all. Thank you. This has been a presentation of, well, us. For more information, see pfs.ohio.gov. And thanks again for watching.